Alvi Hamanya lives at the far end of the Havana informal settlement at the western mountains of Ventuk. Despite her age and being a great egg learner, her approach to life is of a matured person who does not take opportunities presented to her for granted. After school, Hamanya takes up extra classes at the Katutura Youth Enterprise Center Kayak, where she is a librarian and research leader. We spend the evening at her house to witness what she does after school. After a long and tedious day, Hamanya does not immediately rush to bed, but uses this paraffin lamp or a cell phone light to study or do her homework. Perusing through her academic records, there is no doubt that she is a bright learner. Yeah, there are challenges where, like maybe the battery is empty and I don't have $2 or $3 to go charge the phone, and maybe the lamp is off and my mother can also not afford and she has to use the money for some other things. Electricity is a luxury her family cannot afford and she accepts this fact but tells herself that one day things are going to change for the better and she is the one to bring about this change. I know in the condition I am and I cannot want to put myself in a condition where I prefer to have electricity while I don't. At least I appreciate what my parents can give me even though there are really tough times where I experience and I even ask myself why me but I know one day I'll, I'll be able to get out of this life and be successful in my life because I believe in myself and I go for my dreams. After studying, she goes to bed, and for us, it's goodbye until the following morning when we return to come and join her once again to witness how she prepares for school. It's just a few minutes to 4 a.m., and it's a little bit chilly here in Havana, but it's time for Elvi to wake up and prepare for a long walk to school. Upon entering the house, Hamoye was already awake. We brought a few food items, among them oats, which she immediately started to prepare as breakfast. This is one of those rare mornings because normally she would go to school on an empty stomach and return home late in the afternoon for her first and last meal of the day. There are days when her future looks bleak because her parents do not know where to get money to pay her school fees. This is not the only challenge, however, she is a learner at Hage Gain Cup, which is in the heart of Katutura, and this means she has to walk a distance of about 6 kilometers to and from school every day. While she negotiates her route in the dark for two hours to get to school, her mother has to also make her way to a distant school where she sells sweets and knickknacks to make sure her daughter has something to eat when she returns from school. But to what extent does walking a long distance to school affect Alva's concentration in class? Even though I'm tired, it's just it's a must, it's what I have to do. So yes, sometimes, sometimes not. Alva is one of the well brought up and well disciplined children and knows to well all her challenges which she is determined to turn into opportunities. I'm Laimi Hangbi reporting for NBC News.